Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to a non-NHL 20 pack opening, um, kinda. And I say kinda because I actually gold rerolled a Stanley Cup card earlier this morning, so I'm gonna put that in the video somewhere. But this is gonna be an NHL pack opening that has nothing to do with NHL 20. So without further ado, let's start opening up some packs. Let's get right to it. So before I head to the store and start opening up some packs, um, I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of how the stats are, you know, and what you need. So I'm gonna use Rick Nash as an example. So you have five stats. You got shot, you got passing, you got face-offs, shot blocking, and interception, and then each person has a bonus. Rick Nash does not have one. So yeah, so Rick Nash is a six point card, which isn't the greatest. Um, when you play a game, you have 25 points to fill on your lineup. So it's best to keep the points really low, you know, or else someone's not going to be able to fit the line and you'll probably have to use someone you don't like. But uh, yeah, so it's not the worst. There are some people with like 10 points and stuff. I know Patrick Waugh and Martin Brodeur have that, so it's not great. But there are low point players that you can get with really good stats. So yeah, so Rick Nash has five for a shot. So that's pretty damn good. Five pucks, that's really damn good. I would say four and higher, maybe even three, but five is really good. Uh, passing's only two, it's not the greatest. Face off is at one, so definitely keep him as a winger. You're not gonna win a lot of face offs like that. Shot blocking's four which is good. Interceptions only two, but sometimes it could be in your favor. So that's pretty much that. I'll use a Oscar Lindbergh as an example, one of my favorite cards on my lineup. So he has four for shot, four passing, three face off, two shot blocking, four interception. And his bonus uh, rerolls one X dice on a shot. So if he takes a shot, if you happen to get an X, because the AI controls all of that, it's gonna re-roll for you so that can really help you out a lot so that's really good and it's only two points the stats are insane has a good bonus and it's only two points so it doesn't take up a lot of space for your team and yeah so that's pretty damn good uh, Jeff Carter's another one I like five shot five passing three face-offs and then the rest are aren't the greatest and add two dices on a face-off when playing with Tyler Toffoli. So if I actually pull a Tyler Toffoli out of one of these packs, that's going to help me out a lot. And it's only four points, so that's pretty good too. So without further ado, I got 300 tickets. Let's head over to the store. Uh, there's a McDavid pack. You have five times the chance of getting them. I think my brother did that. He didn't get it though, so it's probably really hard. 2019 to 2020 players, 300. I'm not gonna buy that though. I find the 50 tickets are better than like the four, 450s and stuff like that. So we're gonna stick to that. Um, I opened a lot of packs without recording, and I kind of wish I recorded. I'll go through my team after though. When you do start, you do get a starter pack as well, so that's really good. So. Yeah, so there is a 2015 to 2016 for 50 tickets, or 2016 to 2017. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to open. Uh, I guess we'll find out in a second. So I'm gonna stick to the 50 ticket packs. So these are gonna be people from the 2015 2016 NHL season. So I might have to cut stuff out here and there. These packs take so long to open. So get a random figure from all available figures, so 2015 to 2016. I'm not sure if it's only that season, because it does say all, but I think it. I think it's just strictly 1516. So buy for 50 tickets, again it takes forever, um, if it takes too long I'll cut it out. Hopefully we can get something to fit the team with decent stats, that'd be pretty sick. So standard pack, tap to open. Open for someone good. Oh, holy shit, okay. Eric Carlson, look at that shot. Okay. Um, damn, okay, that's pretty sick, dude. Okay, Ottawa Senators captain, Eric Carlson. So that's a really old one. Six points, sadly he doesn't have a bonus, but look at that fucking shot. Okay. I'm not upset, that is pretty sick. So Eric Carlson, out of the 50 ticket pack, okay, I've opened like three 450s, 
with three players in each of them, and I pulled nothing near as good as that. In a 50 ticket, holy shit, let's open up another. Dude, that's perfect, holy shit. Eric Carlson, that shot was nasty. Okay, okay, not bad. Second standard pack. Oh, Tarasenko, another great shot, holy shit. Seven points, okay, that's cool. I think that's rare, because it has the gold background, and it's a next generation. Vladimir Tarasenko, holy shit, that shot is almost maxed out. Okay, Eric Carlson, Tarasenko, I never had this good luck before. Okay, well, I would say we're two for two. Yo, that is nasty. Okay, yo. I'm actually pretty happy, that's pretty cool. I thought I was gonna get some shitty, like, J Beagle cards and stuff, because I got so many of him. Okay, I will take that. I think Beagle's card's actually really good, though. So, third pack. Okay, not bad. Jonathan Bernier. Okay, reroll two dice on a shop block. That's really good, and he's only one point. That's pretty good. His passing's not like maxed out or anything, but that's a really good bonus for a goalie. I'm a Leaf fan, I love Bernier. Uh, he doesn't play for them anymore, obviously, but okay. I will take a Jonathan Bernier. Dude, okay, I would say that's three for three. Okay, I mean, not really, but it's not bad. So we'll go fourth pack here. Open for something decent, maybe a Crosby or McDavid or something, that'd be so cool. Ovi, I don't know. Uh, who is that? Ooh, Panarin, okay. Not the greatest shot, I think that is a rare, I'm not sure. Uh, Reroll 1x dice on a shot. Okay, that's a pretty decent pull. Okay, it's only 3 points, I will take it, Artemi Panarin. Alright, cool. That's pretty sick. I will take that. For sure. Okay, this is going better than I thought. So, I got two more packs to go. Um, I don't know if I'm going to complete any challenges. I don't know. But, uh, so these are probably the last two packs. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Standard pack. Here we go. Okay, Trevor Van Riemsdyk is not good, but he is one of the daily challenges. Um, if I get uh, his brother, uh, James Van Riemsdyk, then that's a challenge if I play them together. So, that wasn't good. That was pretty bad, not gonna lie. Um, but okay, you had to get something shit somewhere. Uh, so, final 50 ticket pack. I'm still happy about that Carlson and that Tarasenko. Those are pretty tight, not gonna lie. That's pretty sick for the team. So it's most likely the final standard pack. Here we go. And had to end very terribly. I mean, he is a defense and he does have good shot block, so that's okay. But yeah. So defense, um, in this game, they don't need the greatest shot, but you can score from your own zone. So defense are very, very, like, important in this game so okay Jacob Truba nothing great but really good shot blocking so that's really good and we're pretty much out of tickets I don't think we completed any challenges nothing popped up so that's kind of annoying but um that Eric Carlson dude that was pretty sick okay like okay I will take those those aren't bad at all um I, I don't think any of those were rare. I don't know. I don't know how that works out. But, um, <laughs> those are pretty sick. Okay. So, got the Panarin. So, this is pretty much people I've pulled. Um, when you do play, you do get a starter pack as well. And the cards are pretty decent. That's where I got that Patrick Kane out of. So, Tarasenko, that shot is fucking nasty. He has 7 points. It's a lot, but it can work. Because I have a sick Chris Letang. That's only 2 points on defense right here. This card is nasty. It's only two points, but look at the shot and pass. Shot blocking interceptions, okay. And yeah, I did pull Weber as well. He's a pretty decent card. I don't have a carry price though for the bonus. And I think that was a special edition. And then the Eric Carlson, dude. Holy shit, that is so good. Sadly, he doesn't have a bonus. I could play him and Weber together or something. I don't know. And I can't scroll up because this game is really annoying. There we go. And my goalies, 
this is what I have. Um, Flurry is actually one of the rare goalies in the game, which is cool. I think it's right here. Yeah, so he's one of the most wanted in the Uncommon, so that's pretty cool that I have that. And then there's like a McDavid, Gretzky, Bergeron, stuff like that. Patrick Wall with the 10 points. Um, yeah, these are really hard to pull. I have Pekka Rene, it's not the all-star one though. McDavid, he only has 5 shot, still a pretty good card. Gretzky, yeah. Bergeron, only 4 face-offs, I thought he would have had more. He has a bonus for it. He chooses where the puck goes. Okay, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty OP. Gordy Howe's down there, stuff like that. And yeah, so that's pretty much that. Um, there's another place I can check. Right here, hot and cold players. So these are new. Lemieux, Solani used to be here, but now it's like Brett Hall, LaFontaine, Carbono, I think that's how you say it, Patrick Waugh, Claude Giroux, Matthew Barzil. So, yeah, pretty sick cards. Like, look at that bread hole shot. That's fucking, that's crazy. That is really crazy. But, um, yeah, so that's basically that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's a pretty long video. Um, yeah, I did pull a Stanley Cup card in NHL 20 earlier. I wasn't gonna put anything NHL 20 in this video, but, yeah, let's find out who I re-rolled. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.